first game? Well, I feel like we've made um, a lot of progress since the beginning of camp, but I feel like, you know, we're we not done yet. We still got a lot more work to, be, uh, to put in. Coaches talked a lot about getting a four-man pass rush up front. How do you see that progressing? How's that going? Oh, I feel it's going good. Uh, just getting speed, guys, that's guys that can move on the field. Um, but so far in camp, it's looking pretty good. You guys have stressed sacks in this defense, and as opposed to maybe just affecting the quarterback and getting him off of his spot. Uh, basically, we just preach playing hard. Like, don't stop playing relentless. When you when you play relentless and don't stop, then the sacks will come. How much emphasis do you put on on sacks, or? Is it just something like you said, where you know, as, as long as I'm getting past my man on the offensive line, they'll just—it's just a result-oriented thing. Oh yeah, the, the ultimate goal is is to get a sack. But you know, uh, Coach Coach Mike Peterson preaches us just play relentless, don't stop, and the quarterback will follow you on. DJ, what have you seen from Aaron Sterling this preseason, and how how different does he look from maybe last year? Oh, Aaron, he's he's looking pretty good. He's he's made a big jump um, from from last year to this year, and he's he's going to be a, a step up big for us this year. Who has impressed you on the second team defensive line? Um, um, all them guys, you know, uh, Brad Johnson, uh, JJ, um, um, pretty much everybody on the second team, you know, they're stepping up because they know that, you know, they're going to have to come in and play for us this year. DJ, what has Bryson taught you about rushing the quarterback and about playing that puck position? Um, Bryson has taught me a lot, you know, just the different moves to use. Um, and with his speed, you know, we have different styles of rush. So, I, you know, I kind of use, sometimes uh, try to use what he do in practice. And, you know, it, it is working. How much of a loss was it not to have him for so long last year? Uh, it was a big loss not to have him, but, um, you know, with his speed, you know, his versatility, but him, him coming back is going to be big for us this year. What does that versatility kind of mean for this defense that he can be the, the strong side linebacker and also buck in sort of those nickel situations? Um, it just means that, you know, he can play, he can step in anywhere, wherever we need him. Um, and teams, you know, they can't really account for, you know, him playing Sam all the time. He might play in or, or different positions, so that's going to be big for us. What does this team have to do to get better on third downs this year? Um, just, just keep, uh, keep, um, you know, getting stronger. You know, uh, playing relentless, nonstop, um, and just playing fast. Was, it, was there a common theme in some of the third and intermediate <coughs> stuff you guys gave up last year that the coaches have kind of hammered on? You said it one time. Uh, Coach Muschamp mentioned third and like three to seven were kind of an issue last year. Were there yeah. any common themes that they sort of pointed out to you about those kind of situations where you struggled? Um, not really. You know, we just we just got to get out the field on, on third down. You know, whatever it takes. You know, bringing pressure. You know, four down, four downs improving. So just getting out the field is, is one of our big emphasis. How difficult is it playing against? this offense? Uh, it's very difficult. Um, you know, those guys, they move quick. So, you know, we got to get the call and get them lined up. Um, we've, we've gotten a lot better defensively as far as, you know, getting the calls and getting lined up uh, this camp. But, we, you know, we're still improving. We heard a lot yesterday about how good the running game is looking. What have you seen out of those guys? Um, I've seen a lot. You know, um, those guys are stepping up. The offensive line is also looking good. You know, those guys have gotten a lot better. Um, so, you know, we, we're looking for big things from those guys this year. Uh, he's looking good, you know. He's, uh, you know, getting used to getting adapted to camp. But overall, he's he looked pretty good. Y'all went up against each other in some Oklahoma drill oh, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, big guy. Um, you know, he comes out the ball. You know, he plays hard. Uh, just playing uh, pad level is a thing. So, you know, he's he he's a big dude. So, you know, just staying low. Have they put y'all up against each other much? Oh no, nah, we don't really. We went against probably that one time, no. both twice. But other than that, you know, not really. What was that like? Was that the first time you'd really squared off against your? Yeah, first time ever, but you know, it was fun, you know, just seeing him just playing, but you know, that one, you know, I had to get him back. Was there any trash talking? Oh, uh, no trash talking. I mean, yeah, it was kind of trash talking, but you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we're going we're gonna to compete regardless. How much did, uh, do you spend any time talking to him or looking out for him or giving him advice? Other than you, more than you would a normal player, what, what's that relationship like when you got a brother on your foot? Um, just you know, seeing what things where he needs to work on, you know, as far as you know, maybe cutting weight or you know, a stand playing lower, you know, I try to point that out just so he can work on it. How about off the football field? Does he ever call you up and say, "Hey, what do I do? Where do I go?" What's this um, all about? Um, yeah, you know, we talk about you know, we talk about different things off the field, but you know, I'm just trying to get him, you know, just to keep uh, improving and getting better each day. Y'all live together. No. Nah.